Although Ripple appears to be in a stronger position than the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission, the fight will likely continue. Beginning in December 2020, Ripple and the SEC began their entire SARIA relationship. At the time, the regulator was the one who initially raised concerns about the blockchain company, claiming that it had sold XRP, its native cryptocurrency, in an unregistered security offering. Because of that, a fierce conflict broke out and neither side has shown any signs of backing down. After what seemed like an eternity, one of the groups finally prevailed. In July 2023, U.S. federal judge Alice Satoris made the ruling that retail investors were not offered investment contracts when Ripple sold XRP. To no one's surprise, the token's value surged to momentarily above 0.80 cents after the court's ruling. Leading cryptocurrency exchanges relisted XRP on their platforms, including Coinbase, Crypto.com, and Kraken as a result of this surge of support. The SEC, represented by Gary Gensler, sought to appeal the decision because it was unhappy with it. Nevertheless, Ripple achieved a partial win for a second time when U.S. magistrates rejected that alternative, stating that there was insufficient evidence to support a different conclusion from the original ruling. The U.S. magistrates have not issued a final ruling on the matter. However, they have granted Ripple three significant victories. In early October, the date for the grand trial involving the entities was scheduled for April 23, 2024. After waiting a month, Judge Torres ordered the parties to meet in court after they had completed all needed formalities. By March 13, 2024, the SAC is required to submit its brief regarding remedies while Ripple has until April 2024 to submit its opposition. A number of cryptocurrency players are waiting for the long battle to end because they believe that if the blockchain firm wins, it would boost the industry's legitimacy and cause the market to boom. In contrast, the digital asset market may suffer if the SEC were to win and impose strict regulations that discourage investment. An ad from Grayscale that features XRP alongside the prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum has been uncovered by the XRP army. But does this mean that an XRP UF is on the horizon? Just so you know, according to the most recent data from Ripple's API, the company's public marketing of XRP for the current month has been really rampant. Plus, in anticipation of 2023's end, Ripple developers have released a major challenge. In a recent tweet, renowned game designer and prominent XRP community member Chad Stengrabber raised notice to this development. Stengrabber posted a screenshot from the Crypto Watch segment of CNBC's broadcast, which included the prices of three major cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP's respective market values were on display at the exhibition. Grayscale, the biggest cryptocurrency asset manager in the world, sponsored the exhibit. Many were wondering if the popular asset manager Grayscale would launch an XRP TF after he decided to sponsor a display of XRP pricing alongside the top cryptocurrencies. According to Stengrabber, Grayscale isn't planning to restart their XRP ETF funds. Keep in mind that Grayscale's XRP trust in GDLC products used to incorporate XRP. Grayscale, on the other hand, pulled XRP out of its digital large cap fund in 2021 after the SEC said the cryptocurrency was an unregistered securities. In reaction to the SEC's lawsuit, Grayscale simultaneously began dissolving its independent XRP trust. The video elaborated that the trust was having trouble converting XRP to dollars due to the legal action, especially since XRP had been delisted from multiple U.S.-based exchanges. On the other hand, the XRP army has reason to be optimistic thanks to the new advertisement that features XRP alongside Bitcoin and Ethereum. Do keep in mind that Grayscale is actively working to have their Bitcoin trust, GBTC, converted to a spot ETF. By the way, Grayscale is also on a mission to transform its Ethereum trust into an exchange-traded fund that invests directly in Ethereum. Upon the resignation of Barry Silver, the chief executive officer of the parent business, the corporation allegedly filed an amended S3 with the U.S. regulator. Grayscale may be considering reintroducing support for XRP according to the XRP community who have noticed a recent ad that shows the price of XRP alongside Bitcoin and Ethereum. Additionally, XRP's regulatory standing in the U.S. is now quite obvious. After the Ripple API recorded an update that revealed some shocking new facts, prominent XRP figure Mr. Huber went to X to draw attention to the matter. More specifically, 60 million XRP coins were removed from Ripple's XRP balance as of December 24th, according to the updated record. Put simply, Ripple has seen an increase of more over $37 million in XRP trades for the month. The payment company reportedly 
distributed 59 million XRP to the public market on December 17, according to the Ripple API record. In a similar vein, Ripple raised around $30 million via the sale of 48 million XRP last week. From December 10th to December 24th, the crypto payment firm based in San Francisco released a total of 167 million XRP. On average, one XRP coin was worth 62 cents. Therefore, this astounding sum was $104 million. Keep in mind that Ripple has a history of repurchasing some of the XRP that has been sold. It usually happens in the first week of every month. For example, after selling 235 million XRP in November, Ripple repurchased 131 million XRP on December 3rd. In a technical sense, the payment processor promoted 104 million XRP tokens in November. The approximate monetary worth of this transaction was $63.9 million. In the meantime, API data indicated that Ripple promoted 571 million XRP during the past six months. This sum accounts for the efforts made in terms of sales and buyback. XRP has maintained an average price of 55 cents during this time. In essence, since July, the American Payment Corporation has released more than half a billion XRP tokens to the public with a market value of 314 million. On a monthly basis, this amounts to $52 million. Notably, Ripple's three-week XRP sale for this month has surpassed $104 million, which is two times higher than the six-month average. Mr. Huber reasoned that the corporation might be preparing for a large repurchase to offset the increase in sales. It is worth mentioning that Ripple is scheduled to set a new record for its XRP dealings on December 31st with a buyback date set for January 7, 2024. According to the Ripple API statistics, the company's spendable XRP wallet currently holds 5.16 billion XRP and 40.7 billion tokens held in escrow. Also, Ripple and its developer community have a lot to be happy about as 2023 wins down. So to cap off 2023 on a positive note, Ripple has established a novel and entertaining challenge for its community members and developers. There were improvements to XRP Ledger in 2023 and many more are on the horizon for 2024. In his research named Ripple X 2024, Ripple Copto Joel Schwartz paints a futuristic picture of blockchain technology. There will be a vote on the cross-chain bridge amendment for XRP Ledger in the year 2024. The cross-chain bridge also enables the XRP Ledger EVM compatible sidechain, which was built in partnership with Ripple and Pierces, which is another exciting development. An exciting new breakthrough, the EVM compatible sidechain connects XRP Ledger to the Ethereum network. Bishop Fox, a security consultancy, audited XRP Ledger's XL's 38 bridge and EVM sidechain separately in November of this year. In the planned XLS40 modification, Ripple aims to enhance XRP Ledger with DIT capabilities. A new age of privacy, security, and financial innovation has begun with the introduction of deed capabilities to XRP Ledger with the XLS40 modification. As 2023 comes to a close, XRP Ledger is still going strong. On December 30, 2023, XRP Ledger handled 6.8 million transactions per day, which was a record according to XRP Scan. That's all for now.